Welcome back to Movie Chats, I'm Steve and this video is about what I've picked up while we've been away in Lincolnshire so I'll just go through it very quickly and um, we'll start off with Turtles Lady Bird book now as you know I've, I've, I've been starting to collect these old um, great little books I've got a couple of He-Man ones, I've got Transformers one uh, this one was a present from little Steve, so yeah, he uh, he's been holding that onto this one for me. Uh, I picked up this really old Incredible Hulk uh, like comic story book. Now this one cost me four pounds. Now bear in mind it was four pounds when it was new, but look at the artwork. How brilliant is that? You know. And uh, I think it will be a nice addition to the Marvel shelf below. Um, as you know, Lana's into a plane, so we, I picked her up a, a C-130 Hercules model. So we're going to have to have a, a move around a plane collection, really, to fit this one in. Moving on to DVDs, uh, we've got uh, the three billboards... Uh, now apparently this is supposed to be quite good film. Little Steve picked this one up for us when we were in the charity shop. He said uh, we, we need to give this one a watch. So that's been recommended to us. I was in CEX and I picked up The Punisher for 10 quid. Now this is the, uh, sorry not The Punisher, The Prisoner. This is the original series um, from the BBC that was for, filmed down in Port Merion. Um, I love the series. I love going down to see where the set was. A uh, bit of a surprise to me because we've got the DVD box set. But we also got the book. Now this book goes through how it was made, all the um, stories and stuff from set, all people's recollections and stuff. So that was a really good bonus to me but yeah that box it was ten pound i can't wait to get in stuck back into it it's been digitally remastered so yeah i can't wait to watch this one so now we move on to blu-rays so i picked up the special edition director's cut of stargate now i love this film uh, i love the series and i love all the different spin-off series that went with it um, it's a bit of a strange on this because in some stores it was like £18. See, at one CEX store had it for a 10 another CEX store had it for £4. I just don't understand the price and structures of these shops. However, I did pick this one up. Now, I do love it. It was only a quid. Uh, no, no, that was four. It was meant to be a pound, but she charged me a pound for four. She completely got that wrong, but yeah, Stargate, great, great film. Um, Batman, Michael Keaton, Batman, the 1989 one, and I also picked up Batman Returns. Now, to me, these are two of the best Batman films out there. Um, this is before Batman started getting silly. Um, the Dark Knight series with Christopher Bale uh, and Christopher Nolan were, were Christine Bale, so and Christopher Nolan were brilliant. However, I do really enjoy these two, and uh, can't wait to give them a watch. Um, this is another one that was strangely priced in in all the shops. Um, again, CEX had one in for twelve pound. They had the Schwarzenegger box that had three films in for eight. This was six quid in cex however i picked this one up for four pounds in a little record shop um in cleethorpes so i'll put his business card up here now so if you're ever in the area go and check out the record shop it was actually quite good um one of my favorite films the last boy scout i just find it really really funny and when i saw this one on the blu-ray i had to pick this one up uh, the Imitation Game. Now, this one is on our homework wheel. Lana says she's not seen it. I have seen it. However, I've seen it on. I've now owned it on Blu-ray, so that's going to come in handy when it comes up on the homework wheel. <coughs> A few 
Fury is a brilliant war film. If you haven't seen this one, go out and, and, and give it a go. Brad Pitt's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's actually quite a sad film when you watch it, but it's really enjoyable. Dark, gritty, but enjoyable. Now, when we were in Grimsby, you know, we were looking for a particular film. Um, Lana's been looking at, looking at it for a while. It was called The Brothers Grimsby when it was released. So we've been looking in the B section. However, when we were in Hull, we found a copy of Grimsby. So they've changed the name of the bloody film on DVD release or Blu-ray release. So we did pick this one up um, so we could watch it again. It is going to be part of Lana's Sasha Bowen Cohen um, collection. So this one's for her to keep, but a brilliant film. We watched this um, this week and I, I forgot how funny this was. Now, that's a what I've picked up really there is some more stuff here uh, there's some Transformers that little Steve's picked me up so I'll, uh, I'll I'll sort them out and put them on the Transformers shelf behind me wherever it is um, and yeah I'll probably do a video of sorting out my Transformers because it is getting quite full up there um, but do if you like the content please like the video it does help us get it out there to, to other people and while you're there, please hit the subscribe button. We're slowly growing. We're on 306 subscribers. Um, however, as you know, we do this for fun. We don't really do it for the subscribers, but it, it does help. Um, join us on Thursday night for our live stream at quarter past seven GMT. Now that's weekly. And that's every Thursday at quarter past seven. Um, and we do try and get special guests on. We go through um a homework movie that we review we have featured actors etc uh, plus our quiz the answer smash now we haven't done that the last two weeks for obvious reasons um so catch you soon and on that note i'll say bye bye and i'll see you on the next one